Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-December 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Taurus, before I get started, I do want to say guys, I have restocked on crystals earlier when I did my videos for the other zodiac signs. I said restocked on crystals and then they sold out like that. I just restocked again. Thank you so much for your patience, for those of you waiting. Um, if you want a crystal set that I have or a handmade zodiac candle made by yours truly who picked out the intuitively the scents and the colors for each zodiac sign, go ahead and check out my online shop if you're interested. Alright, let's get this started. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and or Stellium of Taurus. This is not going to resonate with every Taurus that listens to this message. I set the intentions before providing these readings to you guys that I say the messages that those who are watching need to hear the most. So if this doesn't resonate with you Taurus, I suggest checking your different signs and other placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Just please keep in mind, cross watchers and Taurus, that I'm picking up on both energies and because energy is fluid, if I'm describing a certain situation where you feel like the roles are reversed, please go ahead and feel free to flip the roles if that better fits with your situation. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. So if at all, if I'm saying during this reading feminines or masculines, please know that I'm referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. All right, Taurus, let's get started. Really randomly, I just heard sea salt. I don't know if you guys are cooking with sea salt or you're bathing in sea salt, um, but sea salt's also a mean for cleansing. So I don't know if something needs to be cleansed or if you, something with sea salt, it's up to each and every one of you. All right, let's get started. All right. All right, Taurus, so this is going to be a spread about whoever you're romantically or energetically connected to, how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you and what they don't like, what they like about the connection, what they don't like, and their highest hopes and deepest fears for this connection. So, angel spirits and guides, what do, how do they feel about Taurus at this time? I'm already getting because like so many cards are trying to come out in huge bulks. I feel like they have a lot to say, whether they have said it to you or not. Ooh, five of cups. All right, let's get this started. Wow. Wow. Whew. Taurus, right when I said something needs to be said, we have the Ace of Swords. I feel like they want to speak a truth, or maybe Taurus, recently someone came out to you with their truth. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could have that in your chart. You could be dealing with one, but that doesn't have to be the case. They have something to say, and I feel like it comes from a place where they may have been isolated from you or they may have been some of you they may have rejected you in the past or maybe they hurt your feelings in some way i'm not seeing a third party situation but i'm seeing something where they really set you off in some way taurus as if you thought this connection was so strong i mean we have the lovers and the two of cups on the board this is definitely to some degree a soulmate connection whether this person is meant to be your divine counterpart or there's some lesson to be learned with this person throughout your lifetime that you guys signed up to have a contract with. There's awakening, enlightenment, clarity that is going to be brought to you, Taurus, or they want to bring to you. This is a new beginning with the Ace. This is an understanding. This is 
some light being shed onto something that was dark. I can see that with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords. I almost feel like for some of you, they may have been very distant. Some of you may have even been ghosted. Or they could have even straight up broken up with you. Taurus out of the blue where you guys thought everything was a-okay. I mean, more than a-okay. Like, true love that you felt for this person and all of a sudden they just pull the rug out from under you. But if that's the case, Taurus, something's coming to light. Something's being said that's going to give you a better understanding. Or they're just coming to a realization of a truth within themselves and some of this was like buried deep deep back in their unconscious but it's being brought to their conscious it's being brought to light let's go ahead and clarify this Ooh, sorry didn't mean to kick the camera okay <laughs> um please clarify the ace of swords for taurus's reading spirit angels and guides why is the Ace of Swords here? What is this clarity? What is this truth? What is this clarity, understanding, truth? For my Taurians. Ooh, geez, okay. The Hanged Man. Death in reverse and eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, so kind of like what I was seeing, saying, um, they're definitely gaining a new perspective here that they really had to isolate themselves for. This is the energy of the hangman of a Pisces with the Neptune energy. Doesn't have to be a Pisces. I think they're coming to a realization that something within them was not being let go, was not being truly processed within their lives, I, I'm getting some sort of, I'm getting some sort of like, with the death in reverse and eight of wands in reverse, something that was preventing them from moving on, moving forward with happiness. Eight of wands is shooting for the stars, going for your dreams, really having the motivation to pursue things in an optimistic, happy, excited, rushed, passionate way. But with death in reverse, there was something they weren't dealing with. Something that, it could have been a childhood experience for some. It could have been past emotional relationship issues that they could have dealt with in the past. That they weren't dealing with until... I feel like they had this relationship with you, Taurus. I feel like they really had to get this off their chest. They really have to explain why they were unable to move on to really start something new out of a dark dark time in their life the death card is the energy of scorpio you could be dealing with the scorpio but it doesn't have to be that it was really preventing the elevation of the connection between the two of you but this is so positive um with the ace of swords and the Hey man, you see it? So some of you could have been seeing a crow or been seeing crows or ravens recently. Um, someone ha you know, has a raven or crow tattoo or something about maybe it's someone's spirit animal, animal totem. It's holding an ace of pentacles there, right? You see that? This is a realization that is beginning a new, valuable, long-term, sustainable goal that they have now. And you look, this guy, you know, in the regular Rider Waite Tarot, I don't know what his expression is, it's kind of bland, but this person's happy. This person's smiling because they've come to this realization. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with whatever was preventing them from moving forward, from pursuing the love life that they really want, that they want with you. But I'm getting the sense that there was something that happened between the two of you where they were pushing you away with the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords, pushing you away because they were unwilling to face this death and reverse Eight of Wands energy of moving on, moving forward, elevating. Something 
yeah and then we under that we have the moon card some of you are definitely dealing with a Pisces or a cancer um but it was definitely causing them these inner illusions inner anxieties S some went through a lot of shit guys I'm not gonna lie but I do feel like Taurus they will come to you with the truth or they will provide some sort of understanding of why they've been through a lot or why they had to felt like they had to push you away or not let you in emotionally and I think it's all going to make sense to you Taurus it will once they come out with their truth and what they have to say how they feel about you is the five of cups five of cups in general is about regret guilt shame hurt disappointment and in this card by the way this is the tarot of sexual magic i know you guys ask me a lot but this is about i feel like someone off of that shame or no, it's not shame but like guilt regret remorse um reaching out to someone to kind of provide a new offer to provide a new meaning and reason as to why they may have acted the way they did that they do feel pretty bad about Taurus uh, this is genuine real shit we're talking about here if you're dealing with a liar or a narcissist I'm probably not talking to you in this reading but this is someone who wants to make up for what they may have I'm, I'm just getting this energy of pushing away pushing away or not letting in or It's almost as if, like, to them in some way, there was a huge trust issue I'm getting. They just didn't, and it wasn't personal, Taurus. I feel like they just have a hard time letting anyone in their heart until they met you. Until they're realizing, look, like, Taurus isn't someone that's going to hurt me. Taurus isn't someone that's going to betray me, maybe like the people in the past. And if they did break up with you, if they did end up pushing you away to the point where you guys are at no communication right now they're feeling a lot of regret a lot of remorse and i do feel like this is what's egging them on to provide that ace of swords clarity to you i feel an apology coming on and if it's not so much an apology it's an explanation but it's coming it's going to come from the heart i'm like i don't know if you're even going to get a phone call from this person that's just crying to you on the phone like tears maybe it will be you Taurus I don't know this could all be vice versa but they want to make up for it they want your forgiveness in some way they feel regret for whatever they did to make this connection not elevate or progress or evolve into where they see it being What they think about it is the Ten of Swords or about this connection. They they may even think it's completely over now. And I'm getting a sense of self-sabotage that this person is thinking. Like, I could have ruined my chance at being with Taurus if I'd just given them the chance. If I'd just given them the opportunity to let them in. To just tell or speak my truth sooner instead of leaving them in confusion I I may have had an opportunity but they think it could be over Taurus and again a lot of crying and I feel like it's you know whether you cry or not I feel like there's a lot of sorrow a lot of hurt that's on both sides because there was something very strong between the two of you or even is still to this day This is something that, again, more air energy. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Specifically Gemini. But this is just someone, I'm also getting like an energy of someone that overthinks everything. And it's out of a means to protect themselves. They want to think out every sort of way to solve a situation 
in a place where they can guarantee that they won't get hurt, but sometimes they're just not, they think too much with their mind and not enough with their heart. I feel like this person has a hard time trusting their heart because before they may have trusted their heart with someone and it just ended up being broken. And they think that this whole energy of the Two of Cups, the lovers, the star guys, this is someone who cares a lot, but that it may just well be over that they've lost their chance with you. What they like about you the most is the hanging man. So Taurus, some of you could have Pisces somewhere in your chart, it doesn't have to be, but I'm looking at the Ace of Swords and the Hangman over here now and it's almost as if they came to the realize that some of you, I almost feel like for some, not all, it's like as if this person broke up with you but you knew there was something that was, they could have said like, I don't have feelings for you anymore, I just don't want to be with you anymore, but you knew for some that that couldn't be the case or it just didn't feel right to you. like. It was just out of the blue, or it was just out of character, or whatever it was. But you, I still feel like held on to hope and still was just waiting for this person to come to this realization or to come to this understanding that you're someone different than anyone else they experienced. And that you were willing to wait and be patient and just give it time. And I do feel like it kind of in a way that whatever happened did flip your world a bit upside down. But it's as if... I'm also getting the sense that you guys are very um, understanding people. As if, yeah, you're a fixed sign, so once you made up your mind, it's hard to change. But it's like, if reason comes to show that there's something that is willing to change your mind or to change perspective, you're willing to look at it in a different perspective. And then whether you agree with it or not, that's for, you, you know, when you decide. But it's like as if this person feels like in a way that you're someone that can see something outside of the box or just look at it in a different way and understand where you they're coming from what they don't like is death Scorpio energy again and this time it's in the upright not the reverse Taurus I almost I don't know if you gave this person like an ultimatum before. Like it's either this or it's done and maybe that's why they're afraid of it really being done. Or if it's like you require this person to change in order for this to go. And for a while it was like they were resisting that change. They were resisting that transformation in order to have the love that you both want in your lives. But it's as if I'm also getting, Taurus, for a few of you, you were the trigger to this person's change. You were this trigger for this person to really face what was holding them back from growing, from evolving, from letting go. And for them, it was very scary. It was very new. You put them in a place where they were uncomfortable. And that was part of the reason why they had to push you away is because they didn't want to face whatever they had to face and whatever they had to finally let go of in order to be happy in general, not just in a relationship with you. It took... I, I almost feel like for a while you guys were just very patient with this person. And I still feel like you are, but... They didn't know if they could change in the amount of time that maybe you were willing to wait for because some of you were waiting for a really long time. Others of you, I'm still getting that thing of self-sabotage where maybe they were the one to say, this is done, this is it. 
and they're afraid that you really took that to heart and you're like fine I'm done I'm this is it I, I'm you know I almost feel like you guys may have been on and off and if it's not on and off it feels almost as if like it almost feels like a certain relationship where there's just a lot of patience that was needed and It's almost as if I'm trying to tune into this energy. It's very deep. It's very deep. I feel like a lot of you also went through shit in your lives too. And it's almost as if it's like, you know, I know what you're going through. I've been through shit in my life as well. But I promise you, if you process it, if you resolve it, you'll just come back 10 times stronger. And they almost in a way saw that as something they couldn't match or something they couldn't live up to. And that's not for everyone. What they like the most from this connection is the two of cups. They, you know, you, you both have this reciprocation of feelings for one another. Even if it came off as they didn't have feelings for you anymore, they don't want to be with you anymore, they were pushing you away, there's still this energy of love that both of you share with each other. It's a very sweet, very kind, very nurturing love. The way you hold hands, they miss that. You guys held hands a lot for some of you. I'm almost getting for someone out there, it's like as if they would wake you up by like kissing you. Like whether they were leaving for work or leaving for whatever, it's like they'd always, or it could be vice versa, Taurus, it could be you that was kissing them goodbye as they were like still sleeping and they'd wake up a little sleepy eyed like, all right, I'll see you later. That's not for everyone. There's true love here. And they just, they know it too. They, and that's why they know that they have to come out with their truth because this isn't something they can push away. This isn't something they can bury. This is real. I'm also getting the image of baby's breath, like the flowers. I don't know. Someone likes baby's breath, has it growing around their house or something like that. I don't know, but I just saw a baby's breath. That may resonate with someone. What they don't like about the connection is the lovers. I mean, honestly, so again, if this isn't a Gemini, um, I also get the Taurus energy from the lovers as well, um, for me as a reader. There's a couple things I'm getting from this. For some, it's like as if they were really... I almost feel like unready for the amount of love that they would feel. They were unready for, it's weird. It's like they were unready for love. They were unready for true love. And that scared them for some, that they could have so much feelings, have so much desire, have so much passions for someone when they weren't, never really trusted a lot of people in life. How can I open up? How can I? put my heart over my mind when I've relied so much on my mind for most of my life because before when I put my heart out there again it got hurt yeah and others it's like that scary realization that they have to start thinking with their heart if they want this to work they can't take everything logically they can't make logic out of emotions you just can't do it believe me I'm an Aquarius moon I try to rationalize <laughs> with Aquarius moon with the Cancer sun. So that can tell you how much I try to rationalize my feelings, how I try to put logic to it, and there is no reason, there is no being to emotion sometimes. It just is. You feel how you feel, and there's no explanation. And I feel like that comes a lot from how they feel about you, Taurus. Others of you, I almost feel like there's this battle internally within them of light and dark, shadow and light. 
of previous, again, whatever was holding them back with that death in reverse card of what, you know, should I just stick to my old way of thinking, being closed off, not being open, open giving into immediate desires, not anything long term, or should I start being vulnerable? Should I start opening up? And if you see, Cupid is pointing his arrow right at the vulnerability. And that's scary for them. It's scary for them to be open. It's scary for them to be vulnerable. Highest hopes is the star. So some of you are definitely dealing with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. I'm getting the most of this. I just got goosebumps. It's healing, spiritual soul healing from this connection understanding when they speak their truth they're hoping you can give them the understanding the support the love because even if you think of the traditional rider weight tarot deck there's a woman naked pouring water on the earth and in the back in the water again and nudity in tarot for most tarot this one almost everyone's naked but um is a sign of vulner vulnerability. So they're hoping that when they do open up to you, when they do speak their truth, when they do find comfort in you, that you will be giving them that healing that their soul craves, that their soul just yearns for. And then when, at that moment, when you do provide them with that support, that understanding, that love, that's going to give them the faith that this love is something real, that this love is not the same love that they may have experienced in previous relationships that let them down, but this is something that gives them hope, that true love can exist. And I know that sounds corny for some, but it's really that feeling I'm getting of true hope in love and with you, Taurus. I feel like someone's nickname is Star, or name is Star, or something with Star in the name, and if that's not the case, someone could have a Star tattoo that I picked up before with the Star card. Sometimes I don't always pick up with that, but I am strongly with this. Worst Fears is the Nine of Wands, and to me, Taurus, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's almost as if, like, if they choose to open up to you, you, their fear is that you may not know really what to say or how to react. Because some of their truths are very strong. Some of their truths are very deep, dark. I want to say secrets, but not anything that they were keeping from you in the real... I mean, nothing like cheating or anything like that, I'm feeling. It's something that they've had a really hard time with overcoming. And it's as if, like, their deepest fear is that if they tell you in this very intimate, vulnerable, open way, that you won't know how to receive it in a way that makes them feel comfortable letting their guards down of trusting of being open that it's still there's going to be this guard up and that they were right they should have kept their wall up they should have not have said anything and maybe left it where they thought it was safest by either pushing you away or just not speaking their full truth wow all right taurus for the likely outcome and any advice for this relationship, this connection, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo. So if you're interested in joining me over there to see the likely outcome and any advice for you in regards to this connection or in love in general, go ahead and check out the description box and you'll see the Vimeo link. That will take you to the extended reading. But before I go, Taurus, I will pull a card asking the romance angels for what they think or feel about you and what their true intentions are with this. Maybe give some truth behind it. So let's go ahead and ask. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Keep on doing that. So the stand is really big, but um, spirit, please provide clarity, guidance into how this person feels about Taurus. 
or any sort of intention that they have with Taurus that may give Taurus clarity. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask and then you deserve love. Yeah, Taurus, this is that energy that they had, you know, that was preventing them from opening up, preventing you from speaking their truth by giving you that illusion, by pushing you away. But they're realizing that deception hasn't served them. Deception hasn't given them the love that A, you deserve, but B, that they even deserve for themselves. For a long time, I feel like this person felt the need to put masks on for people, again, because out of a place where they couldn't trust, a place where they couldn't open up. Because, yeah, some of you may find this scary, but guys, we have the Ace of Swords here. We have the Two of Cups here. We have the Hanged Man, twice. This is a realization. This is, especially with the Ace of Swords, understanding clarity and truth. So in a way, I want, I feel like this need from them energetically to tell you. With the Five of Cups too, that they're sorry that they made you feel like they didn't have feelings for you, that they didn't love you, that they pushed you away, that they wore this mask for you. Almost because they didn't know if they deserved the love subconsciously. They just didn't know how to give love. But as they're coming to this realization, they realize they have to fight this off. See that archer? You could be involved with the Sagittarius aiming almost as if to knock this out of the way because they know this doesn't serve them anymore. They know that if they have to fight for the love that they want, they're going to have to come up open, honest, and be vulnerable to take off that mask and to really tell you their truth. Wow, Taurus, that was a one heck of a reading. If you enjoyed this reading, please let me know in the comments box. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. If you're interested in seeing the likely outcome of this situation and any advice for you going into the end of December into Capricorn season, go ahead and check out the description box for the Vimeo link. Again, if you guys want some crystal sets and zodiac candles for yourself or someone that you love, go ahead and check out my online shop. That's in the description box as well. I love you, Taurus. I'll see you next time. Happy, happy holidays for whatever you celebrate. Bye, Taurus.